what is going on guys like you just saw i unhooked the low boy already i'm gonna be moving this small deer excavator it's a 75 g we're gonna be taking it to cypress right now we are in spring branch pretty small excavator it doesn't weigh much I've moved this one before, but I don't think I've done a video on it. The inside of the cab is similar to that 180 y'all saw in the previous video. Same controls. Now the John Deere keys are always gonna be red. This is the John Deere key. Now quickly the controls on this one, I'm going to show you. Obviously this is for the boom. This is your rotation. But that blade there, it's this right here. Up and down. So y'all can see it move right there. Down. Up. That's the only difference from the big excavators is that you have that blade right there on midis and mini excavators mostly on rubber track machines like this one Like you guys just saw, I loaded up the machine already. I hooked up the truck to the low boy. Now I just have to chain down the machine. Don't forget guys, shop GR Trucking. Get your hats, your button up t-shirts, and your sweat rags.
Like you guys can see back here, when they have a blade like that, I do the cross chains and I just put a binder a little more forward than the other one. That way the chains do not touch. As you can see, there's like a two or three inch gap right there, but they're good to go. Now let's chain up the front of the machine. The way I chain the machine from the front is very simple. I'm gonna show you that right now. All I do, Get my big hook, put it in here like that, run the chain through here, hook my binder in this hole, tie it to the chain, and then uh, ratchet up. And that's it. Do the same thing for both sides. Run a chain right here where the bucket is. And that'll be uh, five tie downs. I got the excavator loaded, chained down. We are ready to head out now. Here is the Trailero Maroon hat. Some decals. Obviously your TA Hunnet sweat rags. Link will be in the description below. Check out the merchandise.
just delivered the excavator guys time to get out of here now i'm gonna go pick up my dad's machine the 316 Like y'all can see, I got my dad's excavator already on the low boy. Time to head out. I gotta go back to the yard and load up some stuff. That way I can have the low boy ready for tomorrow. I gotta take it to Richmond, Texas. But let's see if I can make it out that way. Seems like the streets are a little bit narrow over there. back to the yard and let me show you what i'm gonna load real quick with the excavator well on the excavator it's this big piece of steel we call it the ball of steel this thing is heavy real heavy it's so heavy that when the excavator tries to pick it up if it's not close to the machine it'll want to tip over we can't pick it up with the skidster or nothing so i gotta get that thing inside of the bucket then put the machine back on the low boy chain everything up and have it ready for tomorrow so that's what i'm gonna do right now let me go ahead and unload and pick this thing up
guys see how I brought that ass end up? Not sure if y'all can tell, but the back of the machine is in the air right now because of how heavy that piece of steel is. And if I move it closer towards the machine, it'll be fine. Just take a look at this snapback guys that silver and black just goes so well together if any of you guys are interested in getting this hat link will be in the description below shop gr trucking that's my store all right guys so here's the new hat the silver and black just looks amazing in my opinion let me know in the comment sections what you think about it but remember link will be in the description below shop gr trucking get you a hat a shirt some decals whatever you want Thank you for joining me on another load, guys. I'll see you on the next one.